Welcome back. It is time to cool off with a cold drink, and making it is part of the fun. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to create a cool density oh. drink. Oh my gosh, this is the like Catherine. This is so fun because kids can do this all summer long and yeah, enjoy it's Kool-Aid and do a little science lesson. The cool density drink, right? I think West Michigan Kool-Aid stands are about to get a lot hipper. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more lemonade. You know, cool density drink, ten cents, right? Okay, so this is the, this is the main ingredients. You want to use sugar and Kool-Aid, of course, different colors, and of course I made the colors of the rainbow, mm -hmm. and water. And yep. what we're going to do is we're going to make three of the cups just to give the idea of how this how works. How it's done. Okay. So you've got the little... So what you're going to do is you're going to take this little cup, which holds about three tablespoons, and two of those, so six tablespoons of water, oh, and there's okay. a quart in there, and then I'm going to put into the first cup one tablespoon of sugar, and then in the second, two tablespoons of sugar. Yes, and, and I'm going to do... And then in the third, right, I'm going to put three tablespoons of sugar. You're going to put the same amount of water in each. Got it. Now what we've done is we're creating, or what we're doing is we're creating three different densities of water solution. And density okay. is? Density is a heaviness. It's, it's basically mass divided by volume, but it's the heaviness of a substance. So the more sugar in the water, the heavier the substance, Makes right? Makes sense. So what you're going to do is add the, the coloring to your... Oh, I got um, red. With the one tablespoon. There's orange and there's yellow. Look how pretty this is, Catherine. And we mix it's it right very up. Very nice. Now with this, um, you want the temperatures to be the same for each solution. Okay. Warmer water will, of course, get the sugar to dissolve better. So okay. I always use really, really warm water, mm -hmm. and then I let it sit at room temperature. Okay. okay. So what I've done is I've made three, you know, the, the different solutions here, and yes. this is where we're going to have fun. Okay. okay. Now, it does, when kids get to do a little lab technique, too, because dropper pipettes, which you could use like eyedroppers at home. Yes. Okay. And I have them inside each solution, and what you're going to do, I'll let you use the ones inside the solution. Oh, that's right. We start with the higher density. That goes at the bottom. Wow, the higher the density, then it settles down. Um, I would suggest, you know, when you do this, you do not want to use a glass with a really thick column because that's going to cause more surface area between the two solutions. Yes. And sugar water will mix with each other, right? Uh -huh. But if you don't give it a lot of surface area, you can get each sugar solution to sit on top of each other, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you start with the purple. The purple, good. Then we're going to go to the blue. And you like us to squirt it kind of to the side of the bottle yes. so that you yes. get a good safe. Right. And you just want to, and I, you can even put it tabletop, Catherine. Yes. And you just want to let it kind of run down on the side of it. And you will see a little bit of mixing taking place with the two yes. layers. But I guarantee that you will have success if you're very patient and you can have lots and lots of fun, you know, creating yes. this. This is actually also called rainbow in a glass, mm -hmm. but I kicked it up a notch by adding Kool-Aid mix. I food like coloring, it. You know, works because well. Because then you can drink this when you're done. Yeah, and smell. You, you get to do smell chemistry, too, because you can smell the different flavors. Yeah. Do you I'm see slightly it? impatient, but I am, yeah, I'm getting a little Look striation. Um, yes. Isn't that great? Isn't yes. that great? And, too, this, this glass right here, this would probably be the size maximum that I would go in terms of In terms size. of how big the cup right. is. Yeah. And I stuck this in the freezer. And you can make a frozen, you know, popsicle. Very cool. a frozen density popsicle. But then look, and yes. you said this lasts. That yes. you made these and had and yes, 16 weeks I've had that sit and they're still not mixing. Higher density, lower density, and of course you know they're not going to mix because the higher density sets at the bottom. And see, I thought the sugar would eventually dissolve and that mm -hmm. then you'd get the colors mixing in. But yeah. what fun to make popsicles like this, guys! Yeah, and watch you can just kind of like shake it like that, and it does you know still does a little bit of movement, but yeah. it still holds its its spot in the density column. Cool Science. density drink. Such oh, fun. Love it. Love All love right. It. You can find lots of ideas of fun things to do with the kids this summer on our website. They're Chemical Kim's Ideas, WZZM13.com under Take 5 Links. She's going to drink hers.